Hello everyone and welcome to this Eagle IO training video where we look at chart customization. When you get data into the system, you will see that all your parameters are charted automatically. If you'd like to provide further customization on any of these parameters, this can be done by selecting it in the workspace, selecting properties, and then chart. Here we can configure the type of chart, the line type, and fill style. By selecting data and then custom, here we can provide aggregation on the data for this specific chart. Let's select the average over a fixed period every four hours. By selecting customize, it'll allow us to configure the coloring of the chart. We also provide a range of preferences from line width and style to market type and size. Once you've got it configured to your liking, select save and your chart will come to life. The aggregation that we configured is also being calculated with four hour average being displayed here. Now that we've run through how to customize the standard chart, let's look at custom charts. These can be created by selecting the workspace and selecting create and then chart. Two different types are available. We have a historic and a Winrose. Let's start with the historic. These can be created by dragging and dropping the parameters from the workspaces tree onto the chart. A custom chart will allow you to overlay multiple parameters for further analysis and comparison. If you'd like to create multiple Y axes for the chart, this can be done on the right hand side by dropping down to the properties menu, selecting axes, and we'd like to add a Y axis for the perimeter of temperature. And I'd like to position it to the left. And then I'd like to add one for dissolved oxygen. And I'd like to position this one to the right. Now we just got to ensure that our parameters are linked with the appropriate Y axis. This can be done by selecting edit and allocating the appropriate Y axis name for the parameter on the drop down box. Once you have that configured, press save and you'll see your historical chart presenting your multiple parameters with your custom Y axis in place on the left and right. The second custom chart that you can configure is the Winrose. Let's create one with some weather data. By selecting the workspace, selecting create and then chart, choose the Winrose. And from here, we can size it up to our liking and then drag and drop the parameter data from the workspaces tree onto the chart. Well, that concludes this training video. I hope you found it helpful and thank you for watching.